What's up everybody, Gianni Flies back with another video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Honeycomb Aeronautical Flight Controls Yoke and Switch Panel. Very excited to unbox this and yeah, let's get right to it. So let's look at the box first. So this is the front, top, back. Bag, you know, talks about the features. What I'm excited for the switches it has. It has masters and avionics, and it also has um, lights for like you know, beacon, strobe, nav. It also has a crank, a uh, starter switch on it, which is cool. With magnetos, and it has you know your other basic stuff you usually find in the horn of a yoke, like your uh, trimming, autopilot disengage, and the hat switch. So yeah, and then the sides, you know, it's the logo logo so yeah bottom it's what the top was so, yeah let's get into the box one thing i noticed about the box is that it's very it's a very um a nice box it feels nice so yeah let me excuse me watch okay now we have like the inner box it's one of those boxes that slide out so yeah it's a nice blue box there's nothing on the side just the logo on the top and it just says you know you know what it is on the top so yeah, this goes for about 250 i remember when it first came out it was it was around 220 it was cheaper for when it came out i was planning on maybe getting it but like and then it's just the price it was great everybody loved it and it sold out super soon so yeah first things we have is like you know the manual the manual talks about um i don't even know something about just some gear manual and then some screws in there just to screw some stuff in here it has a usb Part of a USB, you plug one side in. Further, this is for the yoke, I believe. Um, it's for the uh, controls and it connects in. And then this is the plate for connecting everything. So yeah. All right, we have the yoke out now. Now let's get the clamps. These clamps, these are clamps, really heavy actually. They're like full steel clamps. That's the one thing I also really noticed how heavy the actual box was. Like, wow, this thing's very heavy. So yeah, let's get it out of the, the uh, plastic now. All right, so here we have the yoke itself. Looks great. Um, yeah, heavy machine. Feels nice. It has a weird, like, it's like a, it's tough to tell. It's like a plasticky rubber feel. Not plasticky, like a rubbery feel to it. It's like, I can't tell what kind of material it is. It's like a rubber mesh or something. But yeah, we have our basic stuff. We got a hat switch right here. Disengage autopilot, or you can have it on this side too. We have trim switches right here on the back. We have a uh, push to talk. Good button to have. Either on the rudder switch. Oh, I'm not gonna be using that that much. I could probably use it for like flaps or something. Another uh, button of your choice, and another button. Nothing on the back of this one. Uh, you know, it has honeycomb aeronautical. As I'm feeling it, it feels great. It has a nice. Uh, Tension to it. I can't even push it in. And then, yeah. I can show you the axis of roll and everything once I get it on my desk. I'll show that in a sec. Right, so, here we have the switches beacon, landing light, taxi light, navigation light, and strobing light. We also have our masters. I feel great. I feel like real switches, kind of. We have our starter switch. So, yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. Uh, without further ado, let me get on my desk now. Now have the honeycomb now installed. It looks great, and I can't wait to start playing with it. But first, let me show. Let me show some stuff. Um, so the mounting plate that's on, you probably saw it in the beginning. And I saw I showed in the video. This thing right here, it has a sticky ceiling, uh, sticky thing that sticks on the desk. I recommend if you, if you have a problem with, um, if you don't want any like sticky stuff on your desk. Don't take off the seal. Just keep it on. It's exactly the same. I don't see a difference. I, I wouldn't see a difference. So yeah. 
and then the other thing is um it comes with these little rubber i think i have no idea what these are for yet i'm probably gonna use them in a sec probably but yeah i'll see but yeah feels great it has a 90 degree axis you can see goes in pretty well goes out pretty well but yeah it feels great i can't wait to start playing with it but yeah now let's just the last few wires and we'll get to it Caldwell Tower, 272 Lima, Papa holding short runway 4, ready for north departure. Papa, wind 060 at 12 gust 17, runway 4, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 4, 272 Lima, Papa.